Well, hi guys. I'm just on my way home. Enjoying a good smoke. Uh, enjoying the day. It's a beautiful day. It's not too too hot out, sunny, but uh, found some found some shade. Wanted to show you guys this tobacco that I'm smoking. Uh, it's an interesting one, and um, I think as I've smoked it, I I go back and forth uh, my thoughts on it. And why is that? Well, to me, this this tobacco has. Um, well, it's quite evident that there's Latakia in it. And I'm usually all right with some, some Latakia uh, in, in the tobacco that I smoke, but uh, there's times that this one really puts the Latakia f like forward. And it, um, it can tend to get a hold of you. Um, let me show you what I'm smoking. Smoking a, a Silums, it's a it's Commodore Flake, and I I don't hear about uh, these tobaccos very often. Uh, there are a couple of the the Silums tobaccos that I really enjoy that I've you know smoked over the years quite a bit. Um, I like the. Um, the Silums that comes in the black, the Silums black, it's, um, it's, well, it's much, much lighter than this one, but it's, um, it's a close between an English style and an aromatic style, uh, tobacco. Um, I did, um, a quick review on that, um, on my channel, if you want to check that out. Um, but this one, uh, is a flake. Let me show you the flake. It comes nice in this little paper wrapper. Yeah, and this one, this tin I've had for quite a while. I don't remember how long I didn't didn't write it down. Um, sorry, don't know how long it's been sitting, but you can tell it's. It's had a little bit of time, uh, but it's it's really nice dark dark flake. Uh, let me show you the flake. Uh, see if you can see that. Yeah, so it's pretty dark. And uh, the humidity on this is. Um, is all right. I think uh, it, it wouldn't hurt to dry it um, for a few minutes before you pack uh, your bowl. But I think you can smoke it um, right out of the tin too. It's it performs all right. It 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 lights it lights and smokes pretty slow. You kind of have to take your time with it at first um, and packing it just right and taking your time and, and lighting and relighting and tamping and um, getting uh, getting that little coal burning just right on this one but um, yeah so in that way it's not you know it's not a great tobacco for a beginner but um, yeah but once you once you get it going it's it does just fine and when you smell it when you open the tin or when, at least when I first opened the tin, uh, I didn't know what to think. It's, it kind of, kind of had this strange, um, kind of a peated um, aroma to it. That's, it caught me off guard just a little bit. Um, it wasn't really offensive, but it was, it was a bit musty. Uh, 
and a little bit of chocolate aroma. Yeah, a little bit of cocoa. Um, but it, you can really get a sense that it's, that it's peated um, on the aroma. And that comes out, I think, when you smoke it as well. So, yeah, it rubs out good. It smokes well. But it's um for me this is a this is a heavy latakia blend. It's a heavy blend. So let me say that right at the the beginning. This blend is um is a strong blend. Um perhaps it's not the strongest blend that's out there, but it will let you know that you're smoking it for sure. This uh, this blend is, it, it seems like it's soft and creamy and smoky, but um, the Latakia and so there's Latakia in it, um, some dark fired Kentucky, and a little bit of Black Cavendish, which helps add a little bit of sweetness and takes a little bit of the edge off, but let me relight here. So, so the Latakia for me is really out in front. It really, um, yeah, it's really it's really the dominant force of the tobacco. And, and then there's a spiciness um, that also tries to come to the front too from the, from the Kentuckys. And so you really get that really good peppery, spicy notes quite often through the smoke. So um, it's like those two are competing as you go down the bowl. It gets really spicy for a while, and you can feel it uh, uh, on your lips almost. Yeah, sorry for the car noise. Um, hope you guys can hear me all right. Um, so there's this peppery spice that, like, just tingles, you know, in your mouth. And then all of a sudden that disappears, it kind of dies down, and then the Latakia kind of comes forward and it gets a little bit smoother and creamier. And so it kind of goes back and forth uh, through the smoke. And uh, for me, that's why I'm, I don't know often what to, what to think of it. Um, it's a good tobacco, it's good quality, um, it smokes well, and, and all of that is there. But uh, when we're smoking tobacco, it, it always you know comes down to the... To taste, you know, what do we prefer uh, for taste? And yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of, you know, blends with strong Latakia uh, that just takes over. Uh, I prefer a blend that is actually, you know, really a blend, and it it kind of goes together real smoothly and. I think there's times in this tobacco um, that it doesn't, it's not harmonized, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, they seem to be competing with one another. Um, and I'm not really meaning to be hard on the blend, it's just, for me, this is a blend that um, doesn't always seem like it's really well balanced. Um, so I, I struggle with, with just with that aspect of it. Um, so, but it's a good blend, and if those are the flavor profiles that you're really looking for in a tobacco, I think you'd really enjoy this. But uh, keep in mind that uh, it is a strong tobacco, um, and it has um, it does have a good nicotine hit to it. Um, if you're susceptible to to nicotine, this um, this one could catch you off guard. I think. And for me, it does take 
it does take a few relights through the bowl to kind of keep it going. Uh, but that's all right, as long as you're not, you know, talking and, um, you know, busy doing other things. It's going to smoke all right if you can just sit down with it and take your time with it. I think it, it'll be all right. I think, but. Uh, anyways, I also wanted to tell you guys another thing. Yeah, often when I'm driving around, yeah, wherever I am, I'm often looking for like little, you know, tobacco shops as we often do. And um, there's a there's something perhaps. You know, all of you guys realize this, but when I'm considering, you know, getting something in a tin to to sell her for later, to just keep for later, especially if it's something that, you know, I want to get some age on it or something, uh, I like to be able to, you know, sample the tobacco first to see if I think it would age well or. Uh, if it's a tobacco that I'd like to have around to keep. And so I often find that um, these little out of the way places, um, you can do that at. Um, I've found quite a few places, you know, wherever I've gone that you can get, you know, samples of tobacco that you can also get tin. So. Yeah, I went into the shop and um, I was wanting to get some, just some little uh, samples of some uh, Virginia. So I got this little sample of uh, Virginia slices. Yeah, just a sample so I could just have a little sample. And um, I also, I also like to get um, some samples um, of tobaccos that are, you know, made by the, the major producers, you know, so I can, you know, so I can go back and say, well, I'd like to get a tin of that and to keep it. And so, yeah, I picked up this McBaron, uh, Virginia, uh, number one. And so, yeah, so you can get just a little sample like this and just to try it out. And so you can think, you know, do I want, you know, is this something that I'd like to get a tin of um, to sell her or to keep for, you know, later? Perhaps a lot of you guys uh, already know that, uh, but it's just something perhaps if you're you know, new to pipe smoking or you hadn't thought of it or something like that. It's just something that I like to do is just instead of buying a tin and trying out a tin and then perhaps getting an, another tin, uh, you can just, you know, for for a much less price, I can just get a sample and then decide, you know, is that something I want to get a tin so that I can age it in the tin or not. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, that's something I do every once in a while, just, just a sample of uh, a tobacco from a major uh, tobacco producer um, so that I can decide, you know, is it worthy of me um, getting a tin to save for later or two or three or is it something that I you know really like or is it something that will really age well so hmm. that's it guys just gonna finish my bowl and head out oh by the way I always forget um, show my pipe. Uh, this is um, smoking a, it's a Caminetto Italian pipe. Uh, it's a pretty good size pipe. Has the, um, I don't know if you can see that, a little mustache, or what, it looks like a mustache. Yeah, it's a, it's a good size pipe, so yeah, if I'm 
going a long distance in a car or something like that or want, just want a long smoke to sit down with, this is a good pipe to do that with. So anyways, hope you guys are well. Hope you guys um, find some good tobacco. And if this, um, this uh, Commodore Flake sounds like uh, it'd be interesting um, to you guys for for those that like the Kentucky and uh, especially that don't mind some strong Latakia, uh, give it a try and see what you think. So anyways, you guys take care and be well. We'll see ya.